Hello and welcome to another Build the Terminator. Today is a very special part because in 77 we will be building the first finger for the left hand. Of course, if you've been watching the last few videos of this, you'll realise there's a slight caveat to uh, my building instructions this time. That caveat being, of course, that I won't be using these pins because I now have the wonderful mods and I've now worked out how to do them as in without any glue. So the only piece I will be using is the tip of the finger of course and I don't know about you but I happen to think that even though it's a plastic tip on the end um, it kind of it blends pretty seamlessly into metal. I don't think if you weren't told that you would ever know that the tips of the fingers are plastic when the rest is metal. What do you think? I'm impressed. Anyway, as you can see, I've still not finished the hand, but uh, I'll get there. Anyway, it's back to 77. First thing to say is that this piece you will not need because that's part of the arm. I shall keep that safe randomly on my table there where it could get knocked off at any point in time. And Next, you have to line all these pieces up. Well, there's all my pieces lined up. Can't really show you what it says to do in the instructions because I will, of course, be using my lovely finger mods, which uh, are buried somewhere on this table. What I'm going to do now is get the first two paired up. Is it just me? Or do these look ultra shiny compared to the ones that I have already? Maybe it's just because the other ones have been sat around in the open for several months now. First of all, we need to take a little tiny golden barrel there. And then I'm going to stick one of these, one of the bolts that goes either side into most of this, I would say, almost up to the end. So less than a millimetre, that's how I, I do it. And then I am going to shove that through the bottom. I can't really do this live on cam because I have to um, use both hands and it gets very fiddly. I will do it live on cam. Let's go for this since my autofocus is behaving. Now that I've said that, it's probably out of focus. Oh no, it's still in focus two of the washers over that and then making sure I've got this the right way round. That is not the right way round. Yes, it is the right way round because I think this is um, symmetrical. Washers are there on the top underneath and then I'm just going to put another one in the top there. Another little bolt. So let's see if I can do this live. It's going to be very embarrassing if it goes wrong. And then I've bought a little special tool. It's not the greatest one because it's it's very um, flimsy at being this long. Then you screw this one in the top. Well, not you, me. <laughs> and there we go. It's worked. It's worked nicely, actually. To form what I think you'll agree is an incredible join. It's worked its way loose already. Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. It hasn't gone wrong at all. You just tighten it up again. Whenever you need that extra bit of tightness in the joint, that's all you ever need to do. No gluing is required. It's worked its way loose already. But you're not going to be flipping and twisting it about all the time, are you? So that's not an issue. So there we go. That's the first one. And repeat all the way to the end of the finger, like so. And there we go. And uh, then I need to put a little bit of super glue on the end of that to put the fingertip into place. I'm gonna put some glue on there and uh, leave that to set for a little bit. And there we have it. The first finger of the left hand looking a bit wonky already because <laughs> that's gone all floppy. But uh, it's like night and day. Uh, the difference between the mods and the 
original parts. Okay, I had to cut there because this one worked its way completely out and uh, actually fell out. So I had to screw it back in completely, but it's in there now. There we are. There's finger number one. Still not glued that bit yet, but I will. There is finger number one. And uh, it does look very nice indeed. So now it's on to 78. Now in 78, they give us some washers, which look remarkably similar to the ones that I've just been using to do the fingers. They're a little bit smaller, but uh, you see, you can do washers, hachette, just not in the right places. But anyway, let us begin. And the first thing I need to do is attach a finger, and now I'm no longer afraid to do this. But what I will be doing is, minus the two washers, be doing the same thing again. A little uh, golden barrel through the middle there, and two bolts either side, and then screwing that in. Well, that was a bit of an adventure. Um, I kept trying to screw it in from that side, uh, from the top of the hand. Uh, maybe don't do that. Only try and tighten it from this side. Because when I tried to do it from the top, it kept falling out. So that was a bit of a worry, but I knew that all I had to do was uh, loosen the screw a bit that side and then try all over again. And it worked. It's very nicely on there now, but I don't think I'll be waggling about that about too much. But I shouldn't have to because it's the left hand. And as far as I recall, Mr. Terminator is right-handed, so this hand won't matter too much. And like I say, it's like night and day with the original fittings. No disrespect at all to Hachette on this one, because uh, they have miraculously been getting, I think pretty much, I think there was a slight delay a while back, but I didn't even get a delay in my parts coming to me. So um, all through this lovely event that we're all going through, um, Hachette have managed to carry on getting us all terminators. It's on to an arm joint and I need to put four little bits of glue around each of the pegs there and then put that bit into there. Okay, there it is in there. Definitely not going anywhere. I must apologize for my terrible framing. You see, what it is, when my frame is really good, I'm not concentrating on the focusing. When my focusing is really good, I'm not concentrating on the framing. Anyway, there it is in there. It looks like the button from uh, Button Moon there. But I'm the only one that knows what Button Moon is. But there you go. And next, have to grab this bit back again, which I think was from the last video. And I need to put glue on these pegs here. And around the, it seems I have to focus again. And it's badly framed. Two for the price of one. Oh, there we go. Now it's focused. Have to put glue around the rim. Inside the rim, I'm not quite sure whereabouts exactly they mean. I'll have to look very carefully where the blue line is. Maybe along the edge there. Anyway, the point of this is, it needs to go into there, like so. That's looking nice. I can't remember exactly what that's for, but obviously with the uh, black piece in there looking like it is, it's for some kind of joint. So something in there will be posable. Okay, this took some working out because uh, it's been a long time since I've done this, but I wanted to show you how to do it all over again because uh, I like to be thorough, even though I probably won't be that thorough with the fingers because um, it's all exactly the same deal with those. So I hope you don't mind that. But if you do, let me know and I'll make a special effort to do the fingers all individually. But now I need to take this piece, which I've got with this part, and this piece, which is from a long time ago, and stick one of the pins in there, and then two of the washers over the top peg. Now, quite why they don't want one washer one side and one washer the other side? Well, you tell me. But that's what they want. And then I need to take this piece, which is also plastic, and then secure that on top of there, which does fit very nicely. I did a lovely little test fitting just now. Then I need to screw those two holes at the top there. And that'll hold this into place with a weirdly one-sided washer bit there. And there we have it. I've done three rather disjointed things. I've done the finger and then I've put the finger on the hand. So that's the first bit. It's looking cool already to me. 
And I've done this bit. I can't for the life of me rem remember where the hell that goes. And I've done this great big chunky bit there. So that was 77 and 78. I very much hope you've enjoyed watching because it was quite varied this time, I think. Of course, we've screwed, we've bolted, and we've pushed, and we've glued. That is one of the reasons I really love this model. It's like proper model making. That being said, I hope you have enjoyed watching. I'm surprised my voice is held up because I've got quite a sore throat now. So thank you very much for joining me, and thank you for your support, and I will see you next time.